Hey, welcome everyone in this new video tutorial about the multiplayer combat editor. In this video, we're going to view how to create a floating name above our character and how to display how to display a name above him. So we're going to head to our content brother. We're going to go to our third person blueprint widgets. We're going to right click, create a new blueprint class, and then we're going to look for nameplate. And we're going to create, the, so the, the quickest way you can do it is by just going where floating WGTX, the example floating nameplate I created is, and duplicate that and create your own. But we are going to see how to create one from scratch in that video. So you create a child class of WGT floating nameplate, call that mine nameplate. WGT my nameplate. You're going to open that up. And we're going to go to graph. And we're going to go to functions. Drag and drop the little drop down menu. So type in get. And it's looking for a progress bar container, a name text, and a nameplate container. So we're going to override each of these functions. And we're going to view over to view what, what they do. So the progress bar container is the list of else bar uh, which are going to be above our character. So I'm just we're just going to add that to add the example progress bar to our uh, nameplate. I mean to our character just so you can see what we are doing. So if we go to our third person character, go to our Dispatch on initialization stats manager. We're going to need our on ready and we're going to add nameplate like this. So I should have started by this, but now we are there, so that's good. Where to what components do we want to attach the nameplate to our mesh? What type, what class of nameplate do we want? For now, we're just going to use the example floating nameplate just so you can see what's going on. In sockets, you can attach the nameplate to a socket of your mesh. For now, we're not going to do that. We're going to specify that we want the nameplate to be located 100 units, uh, one meter above uh, the center of our mesh. The name, we are going to do a little trick here just so you can realize just so we can realize who is who. So we're going to select out of that name and we're going to plug the server pin we just bring, we just bring. And we're going to say that if you are a server, you're going to be called server. If not, you're going to be called clients, for instance. And it's going to default visible. It's going to be visible by default. Uh, maybe maybe you want that to be visible uh, false, for instance. Maybe you're going to create nameplates for objects, uh, for interactive objects in your world, and you don't want the interactive objects to be to to show his name and its name until the user over his mouse uh, over his mouse or uh, looks at it, for instance. But in our case, we do want that to be visible. So if we are hitting play. We can see that we now have. Okay, so I was. It was silly of me. Of course, in there, if you are the client, you are going to call everyone clients, and if you are server, you are going to call everyone server. So we actually want that to be. We want the text to be. Even, to be a little bit higher. And we want to correct the. We want to correct the is e server error. So that's why you basically want a socket on your mesh, not to do, do to tweak that by end, and maybe to attach that to the head of your character. So we want that, and we don't want that. We're just going to call them character for now, like that. Or no, we are going to say is user is is locally controlled. We're going to select. We're going to plug that, and we're going to say me. 
other. We're going to hit compile, hit play, and now I have me above my head. And we are also going to add, we are just going to do that for now. We're not, actually we are going to add a progress bar, a nameplate progress bar. Right click, add nameplate progress bar. We want that bar to be bound to the L stats. We want the, that bar to be green. And we want that bar to, we want to display the, be, the base bar, the example bar I created. We want to hit play. And now we have an else bar. And if I'm hitting the other player, we can see he's losing else. And when once he has no else, he's dying. All right, so we have an else bar and that's why I wanted to showcase. So if we go back to our my nameplate widget, the progress bar container is the box containing the progress bar you add to the nameplate. So in there, we added one progress bar, which is the else bar, like that. The name text is the text which is displaying our name. So in that case, it's me and for the other, it's other. And nameplate container is what contains everything displayed on the nameplate. That's the thing we are hiding and showing in case we want to hide all of the nameplate. So we are going to create them real quick in our designer tab of our nameplate. So we are going to create a new box, I mean a new overlay for, for a start. We are going to say that this size is custom. It's uh, that big, for instance. Uh, no, it's we're going to say desired size, and then we're going to say that in that box we have a vertical box, and then in that vertical box we have a text which is going to be the name of our character. I mean, of the actor owning actor of the actor owning the stat manager because the nameplate and the nameplate progress bar are tied to the stat manager are features of the stat manager and then we are going to add a new box which are which is going to contain our progress bar this is going to be called vbox bar container our text is going to be called text nameplate uh, text name that's all our overlay is going to be called o nameplate container this is going to be a variable this is going to be a, the text is going to be a variable the vbox as well we're going to hit compile hit save go back to our graph and then drag and drop our little widgets we just created in the in the proper override overridden functions so the nameplate container we want to drag and drop that the name text we want to drag and drop that in our progress bar container, we want to drag and drop our bar container as well. And then we want to specify that our third person character is using our name, the nameplate we just created. Then we want to hit play. And we have our name properly displayed <coughs> using our nameplate. And we are going to see how to customize the the progress bar in other videos. So hope you guys enjoy that one and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.